Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Saiva Littles and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to solve a very interesting problem. Um, a lot of people have actually purchased PNGs and clip art but they want to convert those PNGs and clip arts to SVG so that they're able to layer them with HTV or with vinyl. But the interesting part about that is that there are not too many softwares that will allow you to do this easily. So the good thing about Shortcuts A Lot version 5 or SCAL 5 is that it allows you to convert a picture image like so into an SVG image that hosts all of these different layers. So just to kind of give you a visual of how it will look, this is the bottommost layer. That's the next layer, which is the yellow, then the purple, then the pink dots, and then the gray inside of the bow. So all of these images will be the SVG images that you will cut. So that's one, two, three, four, five, a five layer image. Okay, so let's begin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete, since you already seen the picture here, I'm gonna delete these two, and we're gonna start over fresh. So the website that I actually went to to get this free image, I'm going to include that link in the free lesson. So definitely check the description box. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're alert to videos like these. But also to check the description box so that you can find that link in order to access these free clip art. So what I did was I screenshot this box with my Mac using Shift, Alt, and the number four at the same time. So show you Shift, Alt, number four. I'm sorry, shift command <laughs> number four. That's the little Windows um the little Windows button, but it's shift control with well, shift command, then the number four. And I just drew it like this, and you'll hear a click. There you go. So that lets me know that I actually screenshot this image. So after I screenshot the image, I can go to trace, choose image. And it defaults a screenshot for my computer. It may default something else, but I know it's in my screenshots. So I have my screenshot. Now, we've actually talked about this in previous scale videos, but if it's the first video you saw, then we'll go over it again. This is your trace image menu. You have three different modes under your image settings. You have monochrome, you have color layers, and then you have single color. Single color is what we'll actually be using for this tutorial. So once you see the single color, what you want to do is you want to click on this box and it's going to bring up this box. The first layer I want to do is the yellow. So we're going to do yellow. Okay. Do not change where this is because as you do each layer, it's going to pop up in this and it's going to lay perfectly. So don't move that. We're going to pull this up again and we're going to do this for each and every color because we have to create those layers. So this is what you have to do to create the layers in Scal 5. Click this box, make sure it says single layer. Then the next we're gonna do these pink dots and it's gonna show you. There we go. Okay, so now we have our pink dots. Now we're gonna go in and do our next layer, which will probably be our purple. Ribbon. So purple ribbon. When you click this, it's gonna bring up this box. So as you hover, over the design, it's going to show you the color that it's actually picking up. Very interesting to know. And it's really this easy, you guys. It doesn't take long at all. It's only taking me a little bit longer because I'm doing some instructing. But let's see. Okay. And then the last color, um, I believe, will be this gray. So we click this box, hover over the gray. Okay, now with practicing with this image, what I noticed, we're going to try to do the black. I'm going to show you how the black looks. And I came up with a solution for the black and maybe you may have to do this, but the last color we would need to do is the black. So we click here and I click on this black here. And it's going to highlight spot pieces of black. Go to okay. And the black didn't look as good as I wanted it to, like so. So what I did was I just went ahead and deleted it. Went ahead and put all four of my layers together. We're gonna to go to select all, edit, select all, right click, appearance, add shadow. This is the shadow layer menu. 
I actually default at 0 0.050. You can leave that as is. Change the color to black or depending upon your clip art, whatever color you choose. And that's it, you guys. So click OK. And I have my SVG. So with this SVG, we have a black layer. I'm going to show you the layers again. We have the black layer, which would be the bottommost layer. But if you're putting it together with the transfer tape, you're actually going to start off with the gray, the purplish gray color. That's going to be the first part. Then you're going to lay it on top of the ribbon. Then you're going to lay it on top of the dots. Then you're going to lay the yellow. And then you're going to lay the shadow black. That's if you're actually doing it in vinyl. If you're doing it as an HTV product, um, project, it's going to be completely backwards. You're going to have to cut it in a mirror image and you got to cut, put, lay it down backwards. So the shadow is going to be the bottommost layer. Then you're going to layer the yellow. Then you're going to get layered the pink. And then you're going to layer the purple. And then you're going to layer the, the grayish purple. So that is how you create that image. I'm going to go ahead. Um, how you actually input an image um, into your mat so you can have a guide or kind of look at it is go to place image. Edit place image. And I'll include this in the written lesson as well because it's a lot to remember. But that is my image. So that is the, the image that I actually uh, clip art. I'm sorry, that I actually screenshot. And that's that.